Today we are doing college football player props here on Price Picks. Before I get started, though, there is a link in the description below to sign up for Price Picks. Price Picks will match 100% of your first deposit. Also, there is a Discord link in the description where we are building a strong community, as well as a Patreon description where, for example, each YouTube video I give three plays that I like. Patreon I give eight to ten to twelve plays that I do like on each given sport. College football, MLB, obviously NFL starting soon, NBA starting soon, even WNBA as well. So go ahead and check those links out. We're doing three college football plays though. Yesterday we did pretty well on the Patreon plays for college football. I think we hit uh, five of eight plays that I, get, that I did give. So looking to definitely replicate that, bounce back today for sure. Um, three total player props that I do like. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not gambling advice, but I do like uh, college football here. I think it's going to be super fun this season making these college football videos and you know making player prop bets on college football plays definitely something fun obviously high scoring games ton of fun offenses that these teams play in so let's not waste any time though. let's get right into it so the first play that i like is going to be <clears throat> ali jennings it's going to be over 70 and a half now normally like 70 and a half for like a, a wide out is like a lot right for like in the nfl but ali jennings you can see here has gone crazy he's hit 70 close to 70 he's only missed is 69 but his last four games last season 99 146 252 and 74 here he's really become that he is the focal point for this offense coming back for another season here for old dominion um and you can see i mean he was a west virginia transfer last year at old dominion had 62 catches 1066 yards five touchdowns average of 17.2 yards per catch like i said the game log absolutely crazy um really started to he's getting a ton of targets but I mean, 252, 172, 146, and 74. I mean, with how it kind of works, in my opinion, in these college players, they have great seasons the year before, and they come back for another year. They're just one more position up in the depth chart. They're, you know, going to be targeted even more, right? It's not like the NFL where, you know, situations change. I feel like for a lot of these guys, if they are good players, their situation just gets better. They get more targets, more receptions, and things like that. So I think Ollie Jennings here is a strong play against Virginia Tech. I'm taking the over on this one here, Ollie Jennings for Old Dominion. Um, the next play is going to be a fantasy score. Next two plays are going to be fantasy scores. It's going to be Sean Tyler from Western Michigan. I'm going to take his over of 10. Um, I think 10 is pretty low fantasy score for Sean Taylor. You can see last season he hit this his last four five outings. I think this is a strong value here. Um, but if you don't know how the scoring chart works for college football, it's similar to NFL, all right? 0 0.04 points per yard, four points for passing DDs, right? All generally the same things. Although, you know, kick... Uh, you get minus yards for sacks for quarterbacks. Just keep that in mind. But Sean Tyler, Sean Tyler over 10 fantasy points. We can see this here. Um, game long time this season last year. I mean, 146 yards, 115, 52 in the tub, 147 in the tub, 59 in two tubs, 48 in the tub, 169 in the tub. Honestly, getting some receiving work as well. Um, but, I mean, you can just see here. I mean, 52 in a tub is over 10 fantasy points, right? Just that alone. So, a ton of uh, uh, possibilities here for Sean Tyler. Obviously, like I said, a year goes by these players get better they move up in depth charts so i expect sean tyler to clearly pass 10 fantasy score um here over against michigan state which i do think this should be a high scoring game and then the last play is going to be another fantasy score and it's going to be chase brown and we're going to do over 16 fantasy score so you can see the difference right sean tyler had a great year last year and his fantasy score set at 10 that's why i think it's great value and then chase brown at 16 um he said this you know he didn't really play as much last season as he is this season, but 37.7 points in his in the first season game for Illinois. Illinois has played a game already, and he had 37 fantasy points for Chase Brown. Um, he had 19 carries for 151 yards and two TDs, three catches for 16 yards and a touchdown. Went absolutely crazy. So 16, you know, that's less than less than half of what he got in his last game against Wyoming. And you know, college football is definitely a pattern type of game. You see players, you know, play well. They're obviously going to get touches. But Chase Brown here, um, if we take a look at his stats, right, this is his fifth year of college football. And last year, he coming off a pretty good year, 1,000 rushing yards, five TDs. Um, before that, had 50, so he's kind of progressively gotten better. But he is their number one running back here for Illinois in this game here. I believe against Indiana is the game that they're playing today. Um, Indiana versus Illinois. I believe that's the game. But, yeah, this has got to be Indiana. But I like Chase Brown here at 16. He had 37 in the first game. I think 16, great value. So those are the three, three total player props that I'm liking today in the college football slate. Ali Jennings over 70 and a half receiving yards. Sean Tyler over 10 fantasy score. And Chase Brown over 16 fantasy score. Again, I'm going to do probably, there's three plays here, probably like seven or eight, maybe nine total plays on Patreon. Make sure you guys go check that out. Hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and as always, have a great day.